Wonder Woman was always the symbol of feminism, even before we shot our own movie. Both movies were challenging to make. Uh, I set out very clearly to make a very different movie than the first. The first one, we were searching what's the best way, how to establish the character, and both Petty and I were like the underdogs that no one really knew if we can pull this off or if it will ever work. But we believed in ourselves, and then we were lucky and, and, and it worked. In this one, we just, we already established the character, but now the story, we had four different story arcs. I wanted everybody to stay on their toes and bring their A game and discover something anew and not phone it in and think you know how to do something and make more of the same movie. Like in the first one, we shot in two locations. This one was six location. We shot it for eight months, minimum amount of CGI. Most of the stuff are done by real people, whether if it's us or our stunt teams, but being hang on wire and pulled and doing fighting in the air in the gr on the ground in the water like everything was a lot but we did it and it's done and it's ready for everyone to watch the opposite really of of 1917 was the height and opulence of the 80s and so i loved getting to take a hero who faced one kind of villain and and go against the villains of it of that kind of time i also loved seeing wonder woman in that poppy colorful world that we so fell in love with her from the Linda Carter show. So it just felt like her, her right home to me. No true hero is born from lies. Wonder Woman was always the symbol of feminism, even before we shot our own movie. I always want to address that and, and, and inspire people. We are always aware of what she symbolizes, but I gotta admit and say that we're not trying to like hit it super hard because both Patty and I are feminists. It's in our DNA. So it's it's always something that that we're aware of that is in the background, but I think it's just a side effect at the end of the day when with the way that we handled it. To be like Diana. Strong, sexy, cool. I'm just a woman and it comes very naturally to me. Like even it was fun, why wouldn't I have a female villain, you know? And so when men make movies that they're putting in all of these things that come very naturally to them, I'm doing that as well. And it ends up being a lot of women, you know? And so I, I, I think about it, but I also, I just try to do what delights me and that happens to involve a different way of doing it. I'm awe inspired by, any, by how we could be inspiring, you know, young girls and, and boys too. I love that when Patty and Gall shaped this character in her world, that she's so based in love and hope and helping mankind rather than just like killing the bad guys. You just, ha you just didn't see a superhero like that. After I saw the first one, I was really like touched by that. And the second one, I feel like just goes to another level. I mean, people have seen the movie say that they feel such a sense of hope and because the world is in a really hard place right now and I think just having that message of love is like so beautiful.